I'm trying to wake up early so I can finish that video. Okay. Um, where's that tape? Gonna go this way. Okay, what do I do? Um, go very close to the ground. Don't keep backing up because you're gonna need more space than. I would roll it back in a bit. Like more, I think. You're gonna have to back up to the wall pretty much. Don't rip it or it'll break. But after like uh, after I say teddy after I say teddy bear, just move it. Okay. And until it falls off. Okay. Ah. Hey, okay, I'm gonna go over there right now and just grab the freaking teddy bear do my stuff. Yo, the candles! Whoa! Yeah, okay, that's it. Officers take that report. We're just as yeah. detailed to come arrest you. Yeah, as far as last night, we were good. Yeah, yeah. I don't know I what the yeah, was what, not here. Actually, that's, that's true. Right. Yeah, actually, don't, I don't even know what day she said this happened. Did you read the report? I think it happened today. Was it today? Yeah, because well, the report was I think the report was made. Yeah, today. what date did she say those? I don't know. I, I woke up, she's gone, and then you guys come and no. say I assault her. It's an allegation. Okay, I, know, I understand. I do understand. That's your yeah. job to come here and yeah. Yeah. make sure, and that's up to the court and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have to call my lawyer. Yeah, do that. Yeah. And like I said, after that, can you give me the card or something? Where? Uh, I can read it. Or just let me read it. Uh, do you have a pen for me? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Right. Right. It is stressful. Yes. Right? Uh, but it. Yeah, just give your people calls, right? And yeah. uh, make sure you do call us and drink stuff. Okay? All right. All right. Have a good one. Yeah. Thank you. What's up, guys? This is a really serious video, and in no way is this a joke at all. This is 100% serious. I want to start out by saying I'm sorry to Alexia's family for putting them through any like hard times, stress about the death of their daughter. I didn't intend them to get any hate, to put them through any like emotional stress involving Alexia or anything. I didn't mean to get them involved in anything at all, nothing. I expect this to stay, I expected all this to stay on YouTube, and it didn't. And basically guys, what I need to tell you is that Alexia is gone. Alexia was never dead at all. Let me tell you guys exactly what happened with all these My Girlfriend's Dead videos. Because right now it's going to be a very truthful story. So as you guys know, me and Alexia started dating about like four or five months ago. When I first met her, I thought, I thought she was like some party girl, a, a, a typical girl. And until I got to know her a little bit better, when I first moved to Toronto, she came to visit. I, I, I learned that she's a really hardworking, smart, intelligent girl with a lot of good qualities that I really admire in a female. I think she's a leader. I think she has incredible opportunity in life. And as I started talking to her more and more, I started to like her more and more. And eventually I just wanted her to be my girlfriend. And we started dating and I felt the happiest I've ever felt. I felt the happiest I've ever felt in a long time. <laughs> you don't understand like how messed up my life used to be like
Bro, I used to be in a fucking cell, a prison cell. A few years ago, I had nothing. I lost everything, everything. I put everything on the line to achieve success on YouTube. I can never go back to a regular life ever. I can't get a job. I don't have a high school diploma. I dropped out of high school in grade nine. I got a criminal record from when I was younger. I ran away from home when I was a kid. I got in all kinds of trouble, man. My parents, my parents used to like fuck me up when I was a kid and I ran away from home. <laughs> and bro, I would get bullied in school and shit. So, I ran away from home, I dropped out of school, I'm, a, I'm in the middle of the fucking ghetto and shit. I turned myself, I turned my life around, I joined the army. I ended up drinking all the time, depressed. It's not what I really want to do in life, I want to be an artist my entire life. Ended up going to jail because of drinking. Everybody in my life turned their back on me. I had zero friends. I gave my entire life for this. And never was I happy. From the age of 21 until now. Until I met Alexia. And As you guys know, we created the Dream Team channel together and I was really trying to help her reach success in her life as well. Like 100%, I was trying to make her succeed, man. We made about $50,000 on our Dream Team channel. We posted like 13 videos, 50,000. I was trying to help her. She was at a dead end job before. Everybody loves her. I know you guys love her so much. I even got her name tattooed on me. So we thought of the idea. Actually, I thought of the, about the idea. What if we fake your death? And then... Do a skit on YouTube, pranking everybody. saying it was just a just to gain traction on the dream team channel saying it was a first we were gonna say she died then we were gonna do a Ouija board video which I did then we were gonna call her at 3 a.m. then we were gonna resurrect her and get more followers on our dream team channel and I put my entire YouTube at risk to do it my channel at risk to do it I know like all these commentary channels it doesn't bother me what they say at all but what bothers me is that my girlfriend is gone now my girlfriend is gone now Alexia is gone let me tell you the story exactly what happened, guys. Because I'm in serious trouble now. And I don't know what to do. I can't make YouTube videos. I feel trapped right now. <sighs> Basically, last night, I stayed up until 8 in the morning editing the Ouija board video on Alexia. And she helped me make that video. We were at a hotel together, filming the worst reviewed hotel until two in the morning. Then we came back at 3 a.m. and I filmed the Ouija board video on her, which she helped me with. 
by the way guys like she was down to make to make these videos with me like she was nervous or well, I told her it didn't matter and these people are gonna talk but they're always gonna talk they're gonna talk regardless so it didn't matter and she was okay and she agreed to do it and um, so anyways after the first video that we posted together when I said she died it was all good and then she got phone calls from her parents and her parents didn't like it and this was like really stressing Alexia out her parents not liking the videos so the next day goes by I post the next video of me visiting her memorial on the side of the road and her parents didn't like it even more her parents had so much comments going to them about it and Alexia told her not to say anything about it it's just a skit uh, we were gonna resurrect her in a few days it's okay then we did the Ouija board yesterday night when we got home from the Dream Team channel doing the worst reviewed hotel together and she helped me do the Ouija board video I edited it until 8 a.m. And then she woke up at 7 th around 8 a.m. when I just posted the video and she said she just got off the phone with her dad and her dad's yelling at her. She, he, he wants me to say to the world that it was just a prank. She's, Alexia's not really dead. Or he was going to go to the news and tell everybody that Alexia wasn't dead. And I told her that her parents, it's none of her business what we do online. I don't mess with his dad's business. He, he shouldn't mess with ours. <sighs> then I go to bed. I'm falling asleep on the bed and she comes out of the bathroom in my room and she's smiling at me because I was falling asleep with the phone. I was watching the Lele Pons Nerd City thing. I was falling asleep on my phone with my mouth open and she's laughing. I said, what? And she said, oh, and you're just like, you know what I mean, sleeping. And she left my room. I said, can you wake me up at 2? She said, sure. And then she leaves. And I said, oh, can you close my door, please? She said, yeah, I just don't want to wake you up by opening the door if I go back in the room. And then she came and she closed the door because I asked her to. And then I woke up at 4 p.m. instead of 2 p.m. And I thought she was going to get food, but... I noticed all of her cologne in the bathroom was gone. I noticed her laptop was gone. Her purse is gone. She didn't take my keys for the elevator and my building that I live in. So I realized like something was going on. She wasn't answering all my texts. I noticed that all my previous texts from her were all deleted into my phone. Like she went in my phone, deleted all our pictures. She deleted our conversations. I go onto my laptop. She deleted videos that we recorded together on my laptop. She did all that when I was sleeping. I didn't know that she wanted me to delete these videos. I thought her dad wants me to delete these videos. I didn't know that she was serious and like, oh, if I don't delete these videos, she would break up with me. I don't want Alexia to break up with me. I don't want her to break up with me. She means the world to me, man. She is so important to me. She makes me happy. And I haven't been happy in so long. So I'm texting her all day. She's not responding, not responding. I say, how are we over? Are, do, are we broken up or not? So eventually a couple hours go by and she's still not responding to me. So I go ahead and I delete all of our videos that we posted about her death and the Ouija board video because I knew that's why her, her dad wanted. And I, I was thinking she left me because of this. Even though she didn't tell me her she would if I don't delete them, I just assumed that because she told me her dad didn't want these videos, I need to delete them because her dad. I didn't know she wanted me to delete them, so she wasn't responding. I delete the videos and I text her with a screenshot. I deleted the videos. Still no reply. I called her a million times. No reply, no reply. I say, how can you do this? Like, how can you just build a relationship with me? 
I go to bed, you're laughing with me. I was kissing you less than 12 hours ago. And I wake up and you're gone. All your things are gone. You won't respond to me. You won't tell me if we are broken up, if you're okay, if you got in an accident, or what happened. Something is up. Meanwhile, my videos are already deleted. I say, okay, this went too far. I'm not willing to lose my girlfriend over YouTube. And then, all of a sudden, the police knock on my door. They say, there's a warrant for your arrest. And I say, why? And they say, for assault with a weapon and assault. So an assault and an assault with a weapon from your girlfriend. And I say, what? What? I woke up. I was just kissing this girl. I woke up. She said she would be there. She's gone. I delete the videos. She's still not talking to me. And the pol then she go into the police and tell her I assaulted her with a weapon. And now I have warrants on my arrest. I have a warrant for my arrest. I can't leave my house right now. I'm going to get arrested. And they're going to keep me in jail. Until... Until they either say if I'm guilty or not guilty. I never hit a woman in my life. I never hit a woman in my life. Let alone assault with a weapon. That's serious. How could my girlfriend go and do this to me? I seriously... Why did I deserve this? Why did I deserve this? I try to help her, build a career for herself, make hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars. I got a warrant out for something I didn't do. My girlfriend left me. The videos are gone. Our Dream Team channel is over with. And I don't know what to do. And I can't make a video right now. I saw, I'm, I really can't. I was trying to make a video tonight, like a regular video. While all this is going on, I have to call lawyers. My girlfriend just left me without saying anything. She still never even called me. The last thing I said to her was like, um, can you wake me up at 2 p.m.? And she said, yeah. And she was happy, like she, she smiled. And like, I feel like I've been wrong so much by this, like, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve to be thrown in jail over an accusation of something I didn't do. Why aren't we, why aren't we innocent until proven guilty? The police come to my door and say, I'm guilty until proven innocent. They're gonna throw me in a cell because I already have criminal record from when I was a little kid, when I had ran away from school and I started hanging out with bad people in the ghetto because I had nowhere to go. That messed me up when I was a kid. I'm a changed person now. I'm 29, this happened when I was 16, up until 20 years old. They're gonna put me in the jail and they're gonna hold me there. It takes like a year to deal with your charges. So I'm gonna be in there for like a year or something. And now my channel's gonna die from it. I won't be able to upload anymore. And my whole entire life is ruined now. And I already deleted the video. She never told me, I swear guys, if she told me if you don't, I really don't like these videos. If you don't delete them, I'm gonna break up with you. She never told me that. She told me her dad doesn't like the videos. Her dad's not doing YouTube, so why am I listening to her dad? If she told me, like, yeah, it means a lot to my dad. If you don't do this, like, I'm serious, I gotta break up with you, I would've done it. And I did delete them today after she left. I thought it meant that much to her that she would leave, but not only that, she went to the police and told them that I hit her or I assaulted her with a weapon. She ruined my entire life, this girl. And I cared about her so much. I have her tattoo on my freaking body, bro. I tried to uplift this girl. And all these, like, man, I'm not worried about these commentators. I know that you guys are going to talk about this and all. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter to me about what Keemstar says or Scare says. It doesn't matter to me. 
I'm not insecure about it. I'll focus on myself. They were never gonna like me any either way. So it doesn't matter. But now my entire life is ruined. And Alexia, if you're watching this, and I know you are gonna watch it, I miss you so much. And even though you try to like have me in jail right now, I want you back. You mean everything to me. I never met another girl like you, and I never will meet another girl like you. You're sweet, you're innocent, you're beautiful. I love your personality. And these are things that I'm just uncomfortable to say. I can't say I can't say these things to my own mother. I feel so I was like damaged when I was a kid. I was emotionally, mentally, physically abused my entire life. And I can't open up in front of people. I can't. There's something wrong with me, man. But I don't deserve to be put in jail and have my channel deleted or not deleted, but like I can't upload videos in jail. What did I do? I tried to help you. So this is exactly what's going on, guys. If I don't upload in the next like four days when I turn myself in to the police, and if I don't upload for a year, you just know I'm in jail. Because something Alexia said, all she had to say, yo, Jay, delete these videos. I delete them. And I did delete them. I haven't heard from her or nothing, but that's exactly what's going on, guys. I'll try to have a regular video out tomorrow on this channel and from my dream team channel I'm gonna post non scary videos to that channel if I go to jail then when I get out I'll make videos again so just if you don't hear from me I didn't quit YouTube I'm just sitting in jail waiting to get out to make videos I want to do this in more in my life than anything I always wanted to do YouTube man I traded my entire life for this and I will never stop man they can put me in jail for 10 years I'll come out and make a YouTube video I'm thankful for YouTube. YouTube has changed my life. I love every one of you guys. Man, I have people messaging me all day, Jay, I love you. Jay, you're the best. Jay, I watch your videos after school. I get picked on, man, I relate to you guys. I was that kid, man. I was that kid getting picked on all day by the bully, man. Now all these bullies are nowhere in life. And I showed them that you can come around and turn, your, turn everything around and become successful. Even if the world tells you, no, you're never going to make it. You don't have high school. You have a criminal record. I showed them I th you can do it. So my advice, if you guys don't hear from me, like another serious video, is just follow your dreams no matter what. <sighs> it's going to be super hard for me to trust girls after this, but I love all my female fans. And... Thank you for everybody close to me. Even though I have nobody in my life other than Ahmed. So big shout out to Ahmed. Ahmed Mo TV. He held, he held me down more than anybody, man. I, I had so many people I try to help. They just use me for views, then leave me and make uh, exposed videos on me, talking nonsense about me. Completely taking advantage of me my whole life, except for Ahmed. Ahmed has never done nothing like that to me. And forever, I'm grateful for Ahmed Mo. He helps me with everything. He is down for me. He is a true guy. And of course, my fans for always having my back and understanding like, I'm a real person, man. This is like, you guys see me on YouTube doing my videos, but this is the real me right now. And I'm a real person. I have a real heart. I have real feelings. I have a mother who's thinking about me at home, worrying about if I'm gonna go to jail. I never hit a girl in my life. This is bull, man. I love you guys to death. I'll see you. I'll see you soon.